you have that pen and paper ready? Hi, I'm Lady Terry B. Jones, the creator of What the Scriptures Say Day, Scripture Memorization Techniques, where every day we're spending anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes in the Word of God, becoming more like Him, equipping ourselves to do the work of ministry so we can compel men to give their lives to Christ. And on today, Monday, what is it that we do? We write it. As we are memorizing Psalms 23, verses 1 through 6, three times, one for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Ghost. We write this set of scriptures down so that we can get them in our heart, our spirit, so that as we're writing them, uh, we're committing them to memory. We're also spending that time to hear from God so that we'll know exactly what he is saying to us with these scriptures when he says in the first verse that the lord is my shepherd what does that mean to you based on where you are in life what's going on in your life and what it is that god wants to do with your life okay and so it's very important to use the power of a pen and paper so that you can really be able to get all of the nuggets that God wants you to have from his words, right? And so also we are in the midst of our Bible reading challenge. And on today, we are reading 1 Kings chapter 7 and 2 Chronicles chapter 4, okay? And let me switch over to the Bible trivia question for today, which is... 2 Chronicles 4 and 11 says, And Hiram finish the work that he was to make for King Who. Comment your answer below and tune in on tomorrow where I'll reveal to you the correct answer. And the answer to yesterday's question was gold. So if you do not have the scripture memorization guide or the Bible reading challenge calendar, just click on the link below or above, wherever you see the link, right? So that I can get it to your inbox and you can join the rest of us around the globe that are memorizing scriptures, that are committing uh, five to 20 minutes of time, you know, with your Lord and your Savior so that you can become more like him and just please your daddy. Don't you want to please? Father's Day coming up, right? We want to please our daddy. Even if you don't know your earthly father, definitely get to know your heavenly father, right? But in the meantime, Give someone a hug, show someone a smile, and let someone know that Jesus loves them and you do too. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment.